Today's featured star is the orange. We have 20 fragrances featuring either oranges or mandarin oranges, clementines, blood oranges, bitter oranges, all the star in the video today. I've got 20 favorites plus an honorable mention. If you want to find out what they are, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Let's get right to this list, but before we start with the list and the honorable mention, I want to mention that these fragrances are all featuring this orange note. It could be the orange, the blood orange, bitter orange, mandarin orange, clementines, you name it. All very similar. And a lot of them are fresh, and some do go gourmand, so... I wanted to feature all kinds of varieties so that if you're looking for orange fragrances, you can come to this list and find out what they are. So the honorable mention goes to a discontinued fragrance. Unfortunately, that's why it's honorable mention. This is Amen Ultra Zest from Mugler. This is probably one of my favorite ever flankers that the Mugler ever put out. It's quite phenomenal uh, as far as uh, the fragrance goes. It's the blood oranges, tangerine, patchouli, vanilla coffee, tonka beans, uh, ginger, all connected with that Mugler DNA. Very, very delicious. It had depth to it and you can also still wear it in warm weather so it was pretty amazing. I just hope Mugler brings this one back because it was that great. It was a limited edition but if you missed out on it uh, please see if you can find some um, bottles that people are selling uh, and I'm hoping that Mugler will bring it back. So this is Mugler Amen Ultra Zest. I'm hoping that they will bring this one back as I said. Next we're going to the House of Gallivant and this is Brooklyn. Now this one happens to be my second favorite along with Tokyo from the House of Gallivant and this one is a really beautiful resinous orange fragrance. So you've got oranges and you have a vanillic benzoin note in here as well. Then there are other citruses like lemons and bergamot and then of course you have a beautiful white flower of magnolia in here and throw, throw it in with like musk and orris it's a pretty amazing fragrance it's kind of one of those orange fragrances that has depth rather than being a freshy so if you like oranges and fragrances but you want that deep rich depth with it rather than just going full-on citrus check out Galavant's of Brooklyn Next is probably one of the most popular orange fragrances and I have like minimal amounts of drops left in this bottle because I've had this for years. I had it since 2013. This is Orange Sanguine from Atelier Cologne. I've got two fragrances from this house on this list. I know they have lots of citruses, but I had to feature this one in because this is a very, very popular one. Now this one's all about blood oranges. You also got bitter oranges, you've got geranium, you've got a floral note of jasmine, sandalwood. To me, it's more like an in-your-face orange, nothing but oranges, along with like elements of the other notes I mentioned because it's mostly about the blood oranges. And to me, it smells like um, orange juice. It's really, really juicy and uh, cheerful. Very, very happy because I find oranges to be a very, very happy note in fragrances. So if you like a straightforward orange fragrance, in this case, blood oranges, then check out uh, Atelier Cologne's Orange Sanguine. I think it's very, very popular. Now, as far as longevity goes with that one, I'm not sure uh, too much about how great it performs because it's not one of the best performing fragrances. But again, it's just all about citruses, so you have to uh, kind of, uh, it goes with the territory. Citruses tend to not last too long. Now, this next one is from the House of Imaginary Authors. This is Sun Drunk. Now, this is a very happy fragrance again. In fact, a lot of these orange fragrances are going to be ultra happy. And this one's all about oranges, rhubarb, neroli, hibiscus, honeysuckle, rose. It's very, very happy. It is an orange. Of course, it's got that kind of like a, a soft, gelatinous-like note of rhubarb. Uh, to me, rhubarb is almost like the fruit of pear. It doesn't really move much in fragrances, but it adds a depth here to the oranges because it does have that kind of gelatinous like quality and then or mixed with the oranges and of course the rhubarb uh, and then the, not the new rhubarb but the neroli and hibiscus and honeysuckle of course the rose it makes for one great fragrance it's very very happy it's a perfect summer scent sun drunk is awesome check it out from imaginary authors next we're going to hermes hermes and this is eau de mandarin ombre so this time we're focusing on the mandarin oranges and this is from their cologne collection and this is it smells like mandarin oranges it smells so true to mandarin oranges but in the background you've got the amber because it's called mandarin ombre and uh, then there's also passion fruit in the background really really far in the background you can pick up like elements of that passion fruit note which if you have ever smelled passion fruit it smells kind of fruity floral and you get that in here but to me this is more about the mandarin oranges with uh, a very very um, 
minimal amounts of amber and that passion fruit as I said is very very uh, minimal. So this is Hermes uh, Eau de Mandarin Ombre. So that's another one for you to try. So this next one is from the house of Paris Monte Carlo and this is Mandarino de Sicilia, this one right here. Now this one came out last year. They came out with three of the citruses and of course almost a couple of weeks ago I shot a, actually it hasn't even been a couple of weeks, so it's been just a little over a week. Uh, Mandar I shot uh, the the uh, Arancia, Arancia de Sicilia um, video which is their fourth in the collection of the citruses but this one I think turns out to be my favorite out of all four including the, the when it was first launched the three and this one is just really juicy and it's really really beautiful mandarin oranges but according to the notes there's no mandarin oranges listed you've got oranges bitter oranges pettigran orange blossom and musk really really juicy like ultra juicy just quite phenomenal. It's also not one of your very sweet or mandarin oranges. It does go a little on the tart side, so it's a nice balance of sweet and tart, which I really like for a summer freshie. So check out Mandarino de Sicilia from Paris Monte Carlo. Go into the house of Atelier Cologne once again, and then we have Clementine, California. Here we go with Clementines, kind of a, a sister or related to the mandarin orange, and of course oranges. But here, it's not all about Clementines. You've got oranges, you've got juniper berry, you've got cypress basil vetiver is so good. This is such an awesome release. I absolutely love this one and I love drenching myself with this note. It's just really, really uh, beautiful. Very fresh, very refreshing. Um, and it's just, uh, just a thirst quencher. When you're thirsty for uh, when you're thirsty from the heat in the summertime, you want to like kind of like cool off. This is perfect for that. So this is Clementine, California from Atelier Cologne. And I love the name because I'm here in California. Next up, we're going to the house of Profumum Roma. This is Orangea, this one right here. Now this one, um, for the notes listed, it doesn't include oranges. It doesn't include even neroli or orange blossom. The notes say that it has bergamot, pettigrain, mint, cedar. And as I was looking up the notes and I'm like, where the heck are the oranges and the orange blossom? Because that's what I get from this when I smell it. The orange fruit and the orange blossom with a light hint of coconutty touch where I don't know where that's coming from. According to notes, there's no coconut listed or nothing like that. But if you like it orangey and if you like it with orange blossom mixed together, then this one's definitely one for you to try. Again, as I said, it does smell like oranges and orange blossom with a hint of coconut under there. Um, so I don't know where that comes from. Maybe Fragrantica doesn't have correct notes, which uh, most of the time they do not. So, but I couldn't find notes listed on um, um, anywhere else. So I had to look up uh, the notes. And for me, it's all about oranges with um, the flowers. And it is called Orange A after all. Check it out. It's a long lasting one, recently featured in my Summer Beasts video. Now this next one, we're going to the House of Tower Perfumes, and this is Orange Star. Now, um, this is a, a very unique freshy, which is really not a freshy. If you like your orange fragrances to have depth and heft to it, then definitely check out this one from Tower Perfumes. This one is all about oranges, clementines, ambergris, lemongrass, orange blossom. It's a unique take with that tower out tower odd the tower dna under there so if you like the tower dna of fragrances like laird desert Marl cane and things like that um, you're gonna like this one especially if you like the, it combined with oranges and it's really really juicy and fresh but it's still very dry so there's that juicy element of the citruses but just like uh, the laird desert Marl cane is very dry as far as the scent goes you have that dryness in here as well so check it out this is tower perfumes orange star really awesome release from tower perfumes that doesn't really get talked too much about. Next we go into the house of Frederick Mall and this is Bigarad Cologne Bigarad. I don't have the Bigarad Concentre. Now this one is all about bitter oranges with grass note, rose and hay note and a little bit of I think the hay note is giving you a little bit of like cumin like touch so it's very fresh with the bitter oranges refreshing and then you've got that green grass note and um, so good. This is really really good. As far as the Concentre goes um, I haven't really tested the two out because I do not own it, that one. I'm assuming it's going to be a lot thicker and heavier compared to the Cologne version. But this is already pretty long lasting. It's not a concentration of Eau de Cologne. It is still Eau de Parfum. But I believe the concentrate is going to be a lot uh, longer lasting. Anyway, if you like a bitter orange, grassy, fresh, refreshing, uh, a little bit of substance with that cumin touch in there, check out a Cologne Bigarade from Frederick Mall. All right, next we're going to the house of Hermes again, and this is Hermes Concert d'Orange Vert. 
Orange Vert is the original. This is the Concentre version, the concentrated version, which I prefer, which reminds me of uh, the original when I first bought it before it got reformulated, which I have my original bottle up there. Don't think you can see it right now. But this one smells like oranges, very, very woody oranges with a, 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 a tart background to it, which really uh, is pretty amazing. It, it does have a little bit of a classic touch, but this was launched in the early 2000s and I bought mine no, wait, maybe it was in the 90s, I can't remember. I bought mine originally in 2001 when I was on a, a vacation in New Orleans, uh, of all places in the summer. It was really hot, and this did the trick there. But uh, th again, that was the original bottle. This is just like real woody oranges. If you like the twigs of the oranges, the leaves of the oranges mixed in, uh, this is a uh, number one for you, but this is the concentrated version as well And then I've also stayed at some hotels and they use these products and I get really excited because I love the way this smells It's one of my absolute favorite um, um, Designer fragrances um, that have ever been created. So this is Hermes Concentre de Orange Vert And then of course the original is just called Orange Vert and that is another one and This next one you can go check out also is called Orange X Santal from Essential Parfums. Now this one is, um, again, bitter oranges, and bitter oranges is, are basically called bigarade in French. Uh, those are basically very, very popular in perfumery, and I love the way that smells in perfumes. And here it is in your face, uh, bitter oranges. So it's Orange X Santal. I'm assuming that just basically refers to orange and sandalwood, and it's exactly what you get here. It's a very orangey sandalwood. You also have oak moss, basil, cypress, and this is also under a hundred dollars. We've got a couple of fragrances under a hundred. This one, this one, you can get a 30 ml of this one under a hundred. I think this one's under a hundred. This one could be under a hundred. And then this one is also, this is a very inexpensive niche house, 75, I believe they were, somewhere around the 70 to $80 mark for 100 ml. And I did a video about the house, check it out if you have a chance. But if you like the citrus of orange uh, with sandalwood, then definitely this one's one for you to try. So this is Orange X Centel from Essential Parfums. And then we also have another one from Joe Malone, and this one's called Orange Bitters. So this one, you know, I featured this for uh, in a video that I don't use too uh, too much, like a video uh, of fragrances I don't wear too much of. But after I shot that video and aired that video, I started using it, and I'm really falling in love with it. It's kind of weird. It's like I wanted an orange fragrance when I first bought it at Duty Free a long time ago, and then I brought it back. I wasn't really using it, but then I got really excited about this note, and now I'm really enjoying it. So what we have here are bitter oranges, amber, sandalwood, orange, mandarin orange, citruses, and plum. It's not. I think the reason why I wasn't too excited about this because citrus is I like to jump out at me and the orange comes off a little flat, doesn't have this like effervescence sparkliness. It just comes, kind of sits there, doesn't really excite me. I mean, it doesn't jump. So uh, it, it's okay. And once I get past that, I thought, okay, you know what? I don't mind that. I, I really like it. And it does have a very bitter orange fragrance. Of course, it's or a bitter orange note. That's why it's called it's called orange bitters. And then it's bigger most most likely. And then of course you've got the amber and sandalwood and of course lots of other citrusy notes. If you like it soft and smooth, woody, check out this one. It's not a big in your face kind of a fragrance, but it does do well. So this is orange bitters from Jo Malone another one for you to try as far as orange fragrances go. So I hope you're enjoying the list so far. We're going to a fragrance that I recently discovered that I'm obsessed with and I'm like really wanting to check this house, this house out more. And so that, that fragrance is Shea and Blue's Blood Oranges. Oh man, this is so amazing the way it smells. And everyone I've had smell, they go excited about this one because it smells really good. The only issue I have with it is the citrus, so it doesn't last as long, but the smell is phenomenal. In fact, if I was to rank all these fragrances, I would put this at number one, I think very close to the top because the, the smell is amazing and another house that's also under a hundred dollars per bottle at least these ones that I this one I'm talking about this was about um, $90 I believe for 100 ml but this one is all about blood oranges woody notes musk leather amber it smells like true oranges it's so good. There's a sparkly effervescent vibe about this one that's not existent in this one and it's just phenomenal. So check it out. Shame Blue Blood Oranges. Absolutely delicious as far as citrus fragrances go. Next we're going to the house of the Profumi di Firenze and this is Arancio di Sicilia. This one right here. We have two similar named fragrances. I'm featuring this one here first because this one has been uh, longer in my list. So this one's all about Sicilian oranges and it's all the notes I could find listed for it. But for me this one gets very patchouli 
like there's like a patchouli backbone there's lots of woody notes and there's also a light smoky incense note I pick up from it and some oak moss but those are all very very minimal it's what I get when I'm wearing it but when you smell it it's all about the oranges it just says Sicilian oranges for the note and I'm assuming um, it's just all about oranges if you like it very orangey with a little bit of a kind of a classic touch because of that oak moss and patchouli and incense check out Arancia, Arancia. I think it's not Arancio uh, Arancho I'm having a difficult time because we have Arancia here and now we have Arancio but it's Arancho and Arancia I think that's how you say it in Italian I was recently corrected so this is Arancio di Sicilia from I Profumi di Firenze and then we're going to a gourmand one finally here we go with Panda London's Gourmantic Orange this one right here now as far as orange and gourmand for fragrances go together this is like a a number one with there's another one in here as well that's almost gourmand going bordering but this one is I mean you've seen my videos about the the pink champagne truffle and the strawberry fragrance that I did again these this house does great great um, fruity gourmand fragrances and this one is so good I've worn it a couple times and it's also very deep and rich and intense so you only need minimal amounts of sprays but this one's all about orange vanilla fruity notes chocolate oh my god chocolate and orange just sometimes go so well together and this one is very very Gourmantic orange. <laughs> the name is perfect for it. I almost said or orgasmic orange, um, which kind of can go that way as well. But it's a very, very cozy, delicious gourmand fragrance. Please check it out. It's absolutely delicious. It's gourmantic orange from Pana London. Next, we're going to the house of Joe Malone once again, and this time we're going to Orange Blossom. Now, here in this video, I decided not to put a lot of Orange Blossom dominant fragrances, but this one is not only Orange Blossom, you also have Clementines, you have Lilac, Yuzu, and Green Notes. Probably this one's the least citrusy out of all of these. It's more floral, but if you like a very juicy floral citrus fragrance, then this one's definitely one for you to try. I've worn this fragrance quite often. Uh, there was a phase I went through doing lots of Joan Malone's in the early 2000s, and this was one of my staples. I just love the way it smells. It smells like a true orange uh, tree uh, garden, like full of the ripe and blooming orange blossoms. It's amazing. And then you ha also pick up the green uh, leaves and twigs and things like that. Phenom phenomenal scent. It's very, very true, authentic smell of a blooming orange uh, grove. Uh, lots of, uh, you know, the, the, the flowers. So check it out, it's Orange Blossom from Jo Malone. I'm gonna put that right here. Next, we're going to the house of um, Louis Vuitton and its Afternoon Swim. It's funny, when these three fragrances came out from Louis Vuitton, Afternoon Swim, uh, Sun Song, and Cactus Garden, I thought my favorites were going to be Sun Song, Cactus Garden, and the least favorite was going to be Afternoon Swim, but it turned out to be Afternoon Swim is my favorite, and Sun Song second, and Cactus Garden third. And this is all because it's oranges, mandarin, uh, orange, um, and then of course, Bergamot. So I, there's two kinds of oranges listed on the, the notes, which uh, I guess they're different. It didn't separate them like they say bitter orange, but this is all very citrusy. It is such a pleasant experience. It's also got one of the most amazing names, I think, Afternoon Swim. It kind of reminds me of to dipping into a cool, refreshing pool when it's really, really warm outside because this is, after all, inspired by California, the three new fragrances from Louis Vuitton. And of course, uh, that's exactly what you get when you wear Afternoon Swim. It's very refreshing uh, citrus fragrance. It's just really, really awesome. Check it out, it's Afternoon Swim from uh, Louis Vuitton. Next, we're going to Almost Gourmand again. Well, I think you can call this Gourmand. This is L'Artisan Parfumé Mandarina Corsica, this one right here. Now, this one starts off with a, a very a gourmand note of caramel. And you got lots of oranges, lots of oranges because it's very orange, orangey, and it's mandarin oranges according to uh, the name, and you do smell mandarin oranges. And you also have bitter orange listed, tonka beans, and uh, lots of other notes. So you spray it on, you smell caramel, but immediately it becomes mandarin oranges, and then the caramel develops with tonka beans. It's just a really, really awesome fragrance. Late discovery for me, but amazing. If you like a gourmand and orangey, again, this one's definitely one for you. To try. This is Mandarina Corsica from L'Artisan Parfumé. Next, we're going to the House of Paris Monte Carlo. This is the second fragrance, similarly named like this. This is Arancho de Sicilia. This is 
arancia de Sicilia. Those of you that are Italians, can you please clarify what the difference would be? But this one I just shot a video of, you should watch my review, because this one contains oranges, citruses, musk, and there's coffee, almonds, uh, gourmand notes thrown in. So this one is not one of those citruses that jumps out like this one. It's kind of a, a quieter citrus, whereas this one has a more projection because it's fresh and citrus, uh, citrusy. So if you like it more cozy, comforting, gourmandy, then this one definitely is one for you to try. Definitely check out my review. We were doing a giveaway of this as well via Safra Bon. Um, I don't know if you've caught that giveaway and review yet or not, but I believe the giveaway is closed because it was a full bottle. It was a Canada, USA, and of course EU, I believe, giveaway. So anyway, if you don't know this one, check it out, and especially if you like oranges. This one is actually blood oranges rather than oranges. So it's, it's actually really, really delicious. So that is Arancha de Sicilia. And then last but not least, we're ending with Penhaligans, and this is Orange Blossoms. Here we go with Orange Blossom again, similar to this, but this one's completely different. This one's created by Bertrand de Chaffoul. Please watch my video with this uh, about this fragrance with um, Castille, also from Penhaligans. But this one's all about Orange Blossom. Then you have oranges, lots of oranges. So you've got both of those dominant notes. And then you also have thrown in some tuberose, bergamot, and violet. Now this one is a bit on the powdery side. Um, but it smells like powdered oranges, if that makes sense. So if you like that idea, definitely check it out. And also the orange blossom is pretty prominent compared to the oranges. Even though they're kind of equally balanced, I find the orange blossom a little more prominent than the actual orange note. But then the orange is there. It's right there for you. So this is quite awesome. Check it out. Orange Blossom from Halligans. And that does it with my list, guys. What are your thoughts about these fragrances? Do you like the note of orange and fragrances or do you hate that note? Uh, please do let me know. I'd like to find out. I do love oranges. Still, my favorite is lemons because I find oranges not to project much. They're more flatter, calmer, doesn't excite me as much, but there are some fragrances out there like these that really do excite me. If there are fragrances that I missed, please do let me know, put a comment down so I find out what they are so I can check them out to feature or review in the future. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, please this below, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.